right, so... What did we do in the last one? Oh, we made it to Shingala, and he was mind-controlled. So we gotta do Georama, is what we gotta do. Um, so yeah, we got, we're gonna build some crap today. That's what we're gonna start with. Uh, downloading Geostone. I guess I didn't even look in the, this menu yet. Welcome back to the land of live, I mean streaming! Oh, land of the living, hi, I see what you're doing. Ah, 35 bits, thank you, Magma, I appreciate it. And 35 more damage to Pip. Oh, he only has 250 HP left, nice. Those, clou those clouds ain't that dark. <laughs> I know. All right, I need to build four iron houses. Uh, 12 glass, 67 metal. Okay. 12 glass, 67 metal. And I'm gonna buy a bunch of logs as well. I need to buy a, I need to make a bunch of pier pieces as well. That's the front of the train. I hate that bit, di, di, this is a very minor complaint. Different train stations, the train is facing different ways. So, I'm always like, which side's the front, which side's the back? Cause I keep, I'm just, I'm just used to walking to the one side, to, assuming that's the back of the train to talk to Conda, but no, the train's facing the other direction in this train station, so. 50 more bits from Tag, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Only 200 HP left of Pip. Only 200 HP. Someone can easily take, destroy him now. <laughs> uh, tw how many glass did I need? 12? I think 12. And 67 metal. Unless you count ex excessively modding Fallout 4. Oh, I've done nothing of interest in the last week except Fallout 4 thing. Okay. Oh, that's something to do. <laughs> oh, I need to buy some logs. We need to make some beach condos for saving the endangered sea creatures. Priorities! Yes, indeed. Uh, and no, we're actually not building... Yeah, we're actually not building this to save the sea creatures. Because we're saving... We're doing this because we have to restore the Luna Lab anyway, remember? That's kind of our goal. Because the Luna Lab, we believe they could be able to build us something that can travel 10,000 years into the past, which is where Griffin exists. Um... So we're trying to do that anyway, and we're like, hey, wait a minute, we can't seem to get this sea creature... It, it has kind of like a mind control helmet. Maybe someone in the Luna Lab would know how to get rid of it. Since we're trying to s restore the Luna Lab anyway, let's... Hey, let's go do it. Alright, four how four iron houses. Then how many piers can we make? Can I, wait, hold on, can, can I make a shop boat? I can make one shop... I can make a lot of shop boats. I'm going to see if I can only do it with one. Uh, and how many piers can I make? I think you need to have eight total pier pieces placed for something. Let's make seven. I already had one. This might be too many, but I'd rather have too many than not enough. Alright. Six, seven metal? That's always next time, Palpatine. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I don't understand this game at all, because I have missed every single stream, but I've missed Davey, so hello. Oh, well, hello, welcome! There's no better there's no better time to get into this game than now, because in my opinion, the... Uh, well, I don't know, you've missed a lot of story, I guess, but... Things start to actually pick up during this chapter, so... Um... Okay, now, this town is not going to be shaped very, uh... What's the word? It's going to be shaped convenient to what I want! Not necessarily what's good for, like, the economy. Hold on, let me put the... No, no, that was right. Let me put the shop boat. Basically, you need all four of the iron houses next to a shop boat. So they expect you to make four shop boats. But no, you can put all four next to the same shop boat, and it counts. So I'm going to see... I'm going to try to be che as cheap as possible. Um, put all the... Just if I surround this, this shop boat with all the four houses... Yeah, I'm going to see if it counts. Alright, here's one how- I think the door has to be facing the shop boat for it to count. Uh, put one like that. And then we'll put the other ones like this. Ho! Oh, hey, Pip! Welcome! I'm in the process of making something very silly. Should be up in the next day or two. Ah, sounds good. I think you hinted at that in the Discord at once, so... Alright, cool. We built the four? Oh, the four. They don't matter the one unless they're painted the right colors. One needs to be red. One needs to be blue. One needs to be green, one needs to be purple, but I don't think I, oh, I don't have any green or purple paint. 
Uh, so I need to go buy green and purple paint. Who sells paint? I think Parn. He lives in Balance Valley. Um, let's go to Balance Valley. Hello there. Fireworks. Fireworks everywhere. Yeah, it is that time of year. Fireworks. I'm not a fan of fireworks. I liked fireworks when I was younger because, you know, as a kid, it's like, cool. Ooh, things blowing up. Yay! Now it's just, oh, great. Now the dog's going to be up barking all the time. You have one purple can. Yeah, so I, I'll save, like, ten, ten thing, ten gold. Gilda is the name of the currency in this world. I'll save, like, ten, yeah. The spectacular now? Huh? Parn, where are you? Oh, you're just standing right here. Purple's a great color! Okay, <laughs> give, give me paint, please. Uh... Oh, thir 30 gilda. Sorry, I'll, I'll save 30. 10 green, 9 purple. Alright, cool. Yeah, that's what it's, that's what it's called. Gilda. Look, see the top, the top right? Gilda. Oh. It's a word they made up. <laughs> uh, where am I going? Venicchio, obviously, yeah. Fireworks can still be neat to watch, but they're not the coolest thing ever anymore. Oh yeah, I wouldn't, I don't mind going to like, it was like a professional show of fireworks where they, sh it's like super cool and it's like far away from my house where my dog won't hear it, then no, that'd be cool. It's not something I absolutely must do, but it's, it's, it, I, it, I, I'd be open to it. I have a green one and a purple one. Okay, did that satisfy the houses next to the shop boat? Let's see. Red iron near, near a boat near red iron house, boat near blue iron house, and the three and four. I can't see what this rec the suggest the question mark things are, but that's what they say. These each of the labs are those different colors. Um, so I need. Well, how do I restore the Luna Lab Foundation? Someone needs to live here. Ugh. I don't want them to live here. I'm kidding. I need Donnie to live in the blue house. Donnie needs to live in the... Oh. Donnie needs to live in the blue house. Okay. <laughs> Donnie, get, good luck getting into your house. <laughs> there. Donnie needs to live in the blue house. I forget who needs to live in the red house. Claire? Who the heck is Claire? I also have 30 culture points. Also, I remember something you need to make is a windmill. Can we make a windmill yet? Uh, can I make a I didn't see windmill anywhere. I saw a weather vane. That doesn't count. I know a windmill is something you have to build later. Uh, I guess I can't build one yet. Fireworks still in the watch for me, but it's been probably with dogs or probably in the house. Yep, I've always enjoyed fireworks, but I'm always deaf for a few hours after, yeah. How many anyone like America that much? They launch fireworks multiple times a week in advance. <laughs> it's not because they like America, it's because they like blowing up fireworks. <laughs> I'm patriotic, but I want to punch like all those people. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Who the heck is Claire? I legitimately forgot who Claire is. Uh, so we gotta go recruit Claire, whoever the heck she is. Whoever the heck she is. Um... Is she that? Well, let's go look for Claire, I guess. We have four houses in the color of the four swords links. Oh, you're right, they are, nice. There was a metal gray link. Uh, how can you forget the eighth Jojo gym leader? That, I know that Claire, and that Claire actually spelled differently. That Claire does not end with an E. Claire ending with an E is actually a different character in Pokemon. I think it's some character from the anime. Go to the fishing contest? No. I don't have a fish. Although we actually have to catch a fish per uh, a, a storyline coming up. Uh, I think we'll just don't enjoy blowing stuff up. Yeah, that's it. I, I think Claire is like some blonde girl. I forget where she is or what you have to do to recruit her, though. And also, it's nighttime. People are in different places at nighttime. So maybe, what if she's in the uh, the the place the fishing contest is being held? Then that area of the game is currently blocked off. Oh, this is just the train station. Are there any pictures in here I haven't gotten? Oh, hello. 
I didn't see you there. Pot, pot. I already have lots of pot. Milk can, I have milk. What's your name? Luca. Hee hee, I think Dad looks forward. You coming back. Probably likes to hear about your adventures. I don't tell anyone about my adventure except my mom. I admire the girl who works at the cafe. She gets more customers every day. We can learn a lot from today's youth. No one says that. <laughs> Not that they shouldn't say that, but I don't know anyone who says that. I don't think I have cup or box. Bottle! Wasn't bottle something I was looking for at one point? I swear there was a point I was looking for bottle. <laughs> Guys, what was that? I already have lots of pot. Yes, I said that on purpose. That's the game I was more into. You like three on the spot from X and Y. Oh, Claire from Fates? I mean, Echoes. Claire from Echoes. Oh, yeah, that Claire. I'm going to take the test to look at my learner's permits. It's semi common I can pass when I'm terrified of driving. Um, understandable. I was as well. After a while, you'll stop being terrified of driving and just being be sick of driving. <laughs> then in, like, my state, it's no problem. Plus, you'll get really used to driving in, like, a week. It is going to sound weird, but in my opinion, if you grow up in a place where people suck at driving, you'll end up being a better driver. Because you'll learn how to buy, get around them. And you'll... Or, uh... Not necessarily sucky driving. Let me change that wording. If you live in a place where there's lots of traffic all the time, like a big city, for example, I could be I could be wrong, but I feel like people end up just better drivers when they have to deal and learn more stuff. Let's really just look at Florida. Okay, I'm speaking from my own personal experience then, I guess. Because <sighs> I grew up in Chicago. It's not fun driving there, but I, I I drove there for a while, and now I'm living in a small town middle of nowhere, and I feel like I'm the only one who knows, who actually knows the dimensions of my car, and I can actually go around stuff, and people will like pull over, no, there's plenty of room for you to go, dude, have you ever driven in a city and were you two, two inches apart from each other? Clearly not. Anyway. Okay, so who the heck is Claire and where is she? I'm gonna go look it up, because I don't, I'm, I, I'm gonna just, yeah, Dark Cloud to Claire. If she's in the fishing kind of this area, I'm gonna be upset. Claire. Claire, 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 Claire. Sire, she's Max's, Max's neighbor? Daughter of Mayor Need. Can be found in her room or at the coffee shop. Uh, oh. Oh, and my game's lagging right now. Hold on. There's Mayor's daughter in front of the coffee shop or her room. Oh, yeah, I see you looked it up as well. Uh, I don't know. Is Max's neighbor? Well, the giant, massive house is Max's house. So I'm going to guess she lives over here. And I was just at the coffee shop. I didn't see her there. So I guess she's in her house. I mean, I guess it's your Oklahoma, Pip. Oh. I live in Texas, Virginia, Florida, and now in Oklahoma, and also I live in Louisiana. Okay. I've lived in Illinois, Indiana, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Hey, Wisconsin twice, actually. Currently was Wisconsin as well. Do I have dishes? No, I don't have dishes. They weren't even an idea, though. Okay, the, th the thing to recruit Claire is you have to have a picture of the Lafricia flower um, from Rainbow Butterfly Wood. Remember that? Uh, I don't have the picture anymore, but I have the idea. Because, you know, once you take a picture, it saves to the idea board. So, I don't know. I might have to go retake the picture and give it to her. We'll see. Let's see. I'm in Michigan. Just Michigan. <laughs> oh, hello. There you are. I wish I could help you out, but fighting scary. to make it dirty. And I, I hate to be news to everyone, so I have to say no. But there's lots of unique things outside of town. I wonder what the trees are like. What kind of flowers are there? If you, can, if you can show me an interesting flower, I might be enticed to come with you. Okay, I do have to actually take the picture again. Crap. Okay. Go to Rainbow Butterfly Wood. Not Balance Valley. I haven't moved a single town in my whole life. <laughs> Neither have my parents. Oh, two months after I got my temps, I got caught in the worst snowstorm in the highway like in 10 years. 
Ice saver in my car was actually nearly blowing another lane just from the wind. Yep. Sounds about right. There. There's the picture. You can't move now. Screw you. <laughs> it's going to be leave the dungeon, then I can move. Magma is not hosting me. Thank you, I guess. I want to live somewhere with mountains or hills or geographical features. Just the it doesn't matter. It just has to be the picture of the Lafresia. That's it. The stem counts as the picture as as the picture of it. Now we're gonna walk all the way back to that house. <sighs> well, anyway. I'm happy to play be playing this game again. Hope you guys are excited to see it. Aren't you from Chicago? It's a big town. Yes, I am from Chicago. That's where I'm originally from. I lived there the first 19 years of my life. Then I lived in Wisconsin for when I went to school, for college for the last two and a half years of that. So I went I lived three years for that. Then I lived in Indiana for about a year and a half for two years. Then Minnesota for about two years. And then now we're in Wisconsin again. Di completely different part of Wisconsin. Um, and we've been here for... It'll be almost two years. It'll be two years in August. Did you get a picture of a usual flower? Yes, here's a picture. Oh, wow! There's flowers that is out in the real world? Wow, that makes me want to go on an adventure. And by adventure, I'm going I'm to move you somewhere else. You're going to live in this iron house. When you right off, when you walk out the door, you fall in the water. That's where you're going to live. You must do this for the, for the power of science. Sure, this game are super chill. Yeah, I'd say so. I have this review back, and this game is always laid back. I'm glad... I'm, how do you guys think that? Because this is a game where, hmm, other than like the important parts, there is a lot of uh, downtime. Per se, I don't like, I don't like the dark. Give me some light. You know there are lights in the house, right? I think I have to make a, a torch outside for her or something, like a pot torch. Can I please make a pot torch? Oh, I can't afford a pot torch. Is there anything else that provides light that I can afford right now? Uh, like an iron lamp? Can't make that either. Finally, like a pot torch. How much do I need to make a pot torch? Three clay, one fire element. Okay. Let me pick those states. Sounds very random to me. They were all for jobs. Uh, except the first time Wisconsin was for school. Um, that's where I went to school. Uh, hold on. Where was I going again? Oh, buying three clay, one fire element. Uh... Yeah, then I had to, the, the job I was working asked me to move to Indiana for a, a thing, which I did. And then we were there, uh, my wife, Angie, got an, ex, got an offer for a really good job in Minnesota, so we moved there. Um, then we were, then after, then after we had our son, we realized, oh, wow, the cost of living here sucks. Uh, and so we moved to a much smaller area that's much lower cost of living in Wisconsin. Uh, and it's closer to both my family and her family, so convenience. Uh, and she makes the same amount of money around here. I, I make less, but uh, it's also a I, I also have a completely different job. She has the, she has the exact same job. Um, and the things that were my exact same job, they just don't work here. We need that torch. We we need to torch the pot. We need to torch the pot. Yes, torch the pot. Two years in your basement still incomplete. You know this house was brand new when we got it, right? <laughs> this is a brand new construction house. We've done a lot of stuff to this house since we've moved in. Uh, for example, w there was no lawn. We planted the lawn. We also put up a fence and built a deck and planted four trees and... What else did we do? We added a appliances. I guess that's you have to do that. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we've done to this house. Oh, we did four things? I thought we did three. Guys, I could have sworn... I could have sworn it was three, Sticky Clay. I could have sworn it was three. Am I going crazy? 
I read that as three sticky. Or did I highlight the wrong thing? What? I don't know. I'll, I'll just buy more. Whatever. House tour? No thanks. Where's her family live? I'm not going to say the exact city because it's like the city next to our city. <laughs> um, and more like village. <laughs> not city. That's <laughs> City's the wrong word. <laughs> is the ride pod repaired? I don't remember. Now it is. And if I buy one more clay. Sorry, Conda. I forgot. I, needed, I somehow needed to buy four. You needed three more. Yeah, so I bought three. Didn't I buy three? If I didn't buy three, I meant to buy three. I could have sworn it. Yeah, I... Whatever. I, I could have sworn I bought three. Whatever. Oh, back to Venikio again. All right, and remind me, guys, if I forget, when we do end up going back to Shingala with his mind control device, we need a picture of him. He is a one, there is only, is he, he's a scoop. That picture is a scoop, and that is a one and only chance to get that picture. So if I miss that, we, we don't we don't get it. it we, we lose. We lose, good day, sir. Okay, I have a pot torch, Claire. Does that light up your life? Is that good enough for you? No, not Cedric. We need you for later. Yes, Claire. Okay. Now that Claire's moved in... Uh... Good. We just need... 30 culture points for both the... Lab 1 and Lab 2 to be restored. Uh, actually... Okay, this is gonna sound weird, guys, but I wanna make sure events, the story, actually happen in order. And I don't wanna have anything to glitch. I'm gonna return Donnie to the train for now because the game wants you to restore lab one first. I think cutscenes might happen out of order if I restore both lab one and lab two at the same time. I could be wrong. I, I it, it, Chances are I am wrong. Maybe they anticipated that being a possibility and they planned ahead for what would happen. I just wanna be on the safe side. Who needs to walk when you can fast travel? Yes, and we need only three more points. Would these three wooden fence pieces add these three points? The, uh, remember these fence pieces when I built the fence around Blinkhorn's house? Remember that? Would the, the, this fence add culture points? They did add culture points. All right, oh, also apparently I restored three, le three and four as well. Oh. Well, there's nothing, no way I can undo those. Lab 1 and 2 are the only ones that I know for sure have cutscenes tied to them. 3 and 4 are just kind of there. Um, so yeah. I say add Alm, or have the main character of Echoes? Oh, what do you think? Oh, if we can smash Alm, who do you think will be added, assuming they add, uh, Kyle's characters, do you think it'll be Alm? I would rather they add Celica, because she has magic. I feel like that's a lot more cool and interesting than just another random sword fighter from Fire Emblem. Uh, so we restored labs one. Hey, a building! Hey, a single building! Let's go check it out. There's actually three buildings, Max. Um, but I don't know. I I'm indifferent to the whole game. I I I'll probably be buying it because pe both peer pressure and you know, it looks fun. I'm probably not going to play a whole lot of it, but. Treasure chest is tempting me, but I'm not going to pick it up yet. I want to wait till everything's restored before I pick up any treasure chest to make sure I get all of them. I still want them to bring in Shantae. I feel like that's a really low possibility, but I guess you never know. Amazing how three pieces of fence suddenly causes 45% of the Lunar Lab to come back. <laughs> yep. Oh! Fun fact! This guy... Oh, who are you? He is a playable character in the first Dark Cloud game. Are you a Lunar Lab researcher? He has not even remotely the same position in this game, and he, he's kind of a random side character. I'm Osmond, and I'm one of the top Osmond researchers is his name. at Lunar Lab. Can I help you? Really? That's great. We need your help. Could you lend us a hand? My hand? Oh, here you are. <laughs> <laughs> they had fun with that joke. I, I would have. I would have. I would have laughed at that really hard too if it was my first time seeing it again. So this sea dragon is under mind control. Well, in that case, we'll have to shut off the device that's attached to its head. 
Yeah. I'll have her smash all that maybe Zorlark. I agree, maybe on Celica. I don't know, someone out there. Hmm. <laughs> Humor! Is an old invention that I think may help. But yeah, um, did I ever mention the diverse Dark Cloud game? There's like eight playable characters. An electric worm. An electric worm. How do we use that? Feed it to the dragon. When he eats this worm, it'll send a strong electric pulse that'll short out the device on his head. Great. Hey, wait a minute. Do Shigura even eat worms? Well, it's like a mechanical worm, isn't it? It's not a real living worm, is it? Good point. Uh, I've said my right hand is both of you. Or your right hand comes worms. off. <laughs> Electric In that worm. case, feed the worm to a fish first. Yes. Basically, if he eats the worm, it'll short circuit the mind control device. That's the idea. It's simple, right? Sounds good. So first, we have to feed the electric worm to a fish. Then we have to feed the fish to Shigala. That's how we do it. Do you always have to be so negative? She's asking questions, dude. But you don't have too many friends. That's not true. First, you catch a fish, right? And then, what you need to get the fish to eat the electric worm is. An aquarium. Fish pick and choose their bait when you're fishing, but in an aquarium, they'll eat almost anything. Oh yeah, you can have your own little aquarium with pet fish aquarium? in this game. Just feed the mind control dragon this high voltage shock. Surround the shore circle with electronics. Or the fact yes. that it'll probably kill, kill the dragon. It will not kill the dragon. You need to make an aquarium. Why don't you make one yourselves? So how do I make it? Come on, figure it out yourself. Oh well, okay. I suppose I could give you some tips. A wooden box, a window, and a fountain. Wooden box, I window, fountain. Stuff in your own town. A wooden box, a window, and a fountain. I bet yeah. I, I, I think I'll I already have try. all those things. Once you've got yourselves an aquarium, put the fish in. Have fish and feed eat it the worm. Electric worm. Have sea monster eat fish. Worm save sea monster from malware. <laughs> then feed yep. the electrically charged fish to the Shigura. Don't forget that. Good luck. I hope it works. Great. Thank you, Osmond. Thanks, Dr. Osmond. My rule for gameplay, as always, is to have electric worms. <laughs> so immediately a great game! <laughs> Alright, so... No, no ideas. Okay. Uh... Window... Wooden box... Fountain. Could have invented this a while ago, couldn't I? Yeah. Yay! We got electric worm because video games! Fishing time! Yes, fishing time! Say cheese! Alright, now that we now we have to actually build it. How do we build an aquarium? What do we need? We need three logs and four glass. Okay. Alright, so let's go back to Conda and build the aquarium. Then catch a fish. And yeah. And the things. Maybe we should catch a couple fish and enter the fishing contest. Is that still going on? No, it ended. Of course it did. Okay. That's fine. Of course it ended. But I think if you if you enter a fish in the fishing contest, I think it, you lose the fish, so. Uh. Say cheese? I wouldn't be surprised if the aquarium was a mimic and could smile. Ha <laughs> No, Max always says either say cheese or yeah, it works after inventing something. Every time. I think we won the game now that we have electric worms. So we done, guys? <laughs> hey, guys, that's the end. You get the electric worm, you win Dark Cloud 2. The end. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, Conda, we need... What do we need again? Three logs, four glass, I think. If that's not it, we'll buy what we need. After that. Okay. Uh, to the back of the train, back of the train. So I feel like I haven't gotten a photography level in a while. Well, I feel like I... Maybe because I just haven't been taking a whole lot of pictures lately. Or like, I haven't been... Yeah, there haven't really new, new areas to take pictures of. You know what I mean? Uh. Alright, three logs. Four glass. I feel like we need more glass than logs to make an aquarium, but well, what do I know? 
Well, we have uh, not a cardboard cutout third party member. Oh yes, we do. Aquarium! Da -da -da -da. Fun fact, the aquarium is actually a key item. Once you build it, well, that slot in your inventory is forever taken up by this aquarium. You can never discard it, and you can never build another one. So, I hope that was okay to do. Turn the electric worm. All cuts these levels proceed to plow on its own over the course of five seconds. Oh, I'm lagging suddenly. My controls are lagging. Hold on. Let me reset the game capture thing. This happened last time, and this fixed it, so let's hope it fixes it again. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't happen during, like, a major boss fight. Yes, Electric Worm beat all but Leech Seas. There's no point in continuing. We just win it. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's catch the fishy fish. So we're at the ocean now. Oh, wait! Evening Sun! It's it's becoming s sunset right now, right? It's not morning? Where is this? Where is the freaking sun? Sun! Did the sun already go down? Did I miss it? Did, did I miss it? It's 7.34 p.m. I think I just missed the frickin' sunset. <sighs> Remember, that's a, that's a scoop. The, su the sunset. Alright, uh, we're gonna fish off the pier. We're gonna use our fishing pole and ocean fish eat shrimp. So, put an Eevee. Or an Evy, however you they want to pronounce the word they use for shrimp in this game. All right, let's go fishing! Yay! So yeah, now we just wait patiently for fish. You could also zoom into the bobber. Uh oh, here you go. We got it. We got some. Yay! Let's fish for froggy. Oh, this is a this is a bigger fish. I gotta be careful with it. This game is so confusing if you don't know anything about it. Oh yes, it absolutely is. Then again, that's everything. I failed. Okay, try again. Okay. Gotta be more careful. I di at least I didn't lose the bait. We'll try again. <sighs> At least fishing in this game, it's not like Pokemon where your po character sits there for less than five seconds and like, ah, nothing's biting, let's just stop. In this game, you just sit there until you bite, until something bites. It's like real fishing. And I don't even usually take that long. Usually. Like, very, like it's probably going to take long now just because I'm talking about it. But still. Is it is it gonna get a bite? Maybe uh, I was I thought I was I th okay. Maybe it's not. Is this not a good spot? So Lev was looking at fishing rods. We went to Walmart today. Okay. Fishing is fun. Also, oh 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 oh. oh. Also, Max is very clearly right hand dominant by the fact that he uses his main hand weapon in his right hand and his gun in his left hand, but he holds the fishing pole left handed. Because you're, you're supposed to use your dominant hand to hold the rod and your non to have the reel. Usually. I've heard people disagree with that statement, but we, got a, we caught a tartan. It's like a turtle fish. Okay. Uh, anyway. Because, yeah, it's so you can, like, lift up, then do this. Lift up! You know what I, Yeah. That's, that's how you pull in a big fish. 
Uh, feed fish. We will feed the electric worm. And home. Maybe he prefers his dominant hand for gun aiming? <laughs> sure. Tartan ate an electric worm. I was shocked! Okay, remove from tank. If you don't give the fish a shigala. Oh, yeah. So, this is weird. You can't actually... I thought... I do this every time I play this game. I feel like you're supposed to remove it so it's an item in your pocket. But no. It just needs to be in your aquarium. And then it just you just automatically use it when you enter the battle with shigala. So... Aren't shells the best? Yeah, apparently. Well, that was not as nearly as big of a fish as the one we lost the first time, but it's okay, because the fish we caught kind of just got turned into an item required for our adventure, so we didn't really get to keep the fish, so... Oh, well. Also, uh... Wait, no, never mind. All right, let's go fight Chingala. There's two scoops in this room. There is Shingala himself, and then the mural on the wall. Remember the mural on the wall? We walked in, and they were all like, "Wow, this is the that mur that ancient mural that talks about the Star of Oblivion, of basically the moon coming down and destroying the world, or something." It's basically the icon of the title. See the little thing behind the dark cloud too, set icon, that little falling thing. Yeah, that's the Star of Oblivion, the symbol of the game. Hurry, we shocked the fish without somehow electrocuting the entire tank, says the water connected electricity. Max, put the electric fish in Chingala's mouth. Why don't you do it, Monica? Why do I have to do it? I'll do my best. <laughs> uh, hello. Yeah! Alright. Fun fact, if you kill Shingala, you lose the battle. Ow. Where'd the, where'd the, where'd, where'd it go? Did it spawn over here? Why did it spawn over here? Thank you again for making Zookanob. Blade Blade BladeBladeMazzer75 bits! Thank you very much! I appreciate that, dude! And you're very welcome for making Zookanob! I'm, th thank you for enjoying it! If you hurt Shigala, got angry, head right for you. He'll did it really need to give me a tutorial right now? Ow. Thank you very much! I appreciate it. Where'd the fish go? Where did the fish go? Where did the frickin' fish go? There it is. It's Oh, it, it like fell in the water and like came back out. Does it need like to get water? So it doesn't like run out of oxygen or something? There. Boop! Battle win. That's it. That's all you have to do for the battle. Just throw it in his mouth and you win. And it does look like he's completely getting electrocuted. But it did get the mind control device off. And he is dead. Now I know the the, the title of this chapter makes sense now. Goodbye, Shingala? Shingala. I'm kidding, it doesn't die. It worked. There's the a little more and off. Pip's reign is over. Unless he heals himself. Yeah. Oh, for at least a minute. Yeah, for at least a minute. Still leaves me shook. I'll be here until my bit badge updates. Oh nice. Okay. Is he alright? He's really exhausted. We better get him back to the And water. he just got electrocuted. You know, how do they carry him back? They never explain that. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> what are you doing following us in your condition? Huh? I told you it was dangerous, didn't I? <laughs> the magic of game logic, you? yeah. Max, Monica, I have a favor to ask. Another favor? Go to the seashore where the other Shigura are and bring back some medicine that will work. Isn't on that where you were going the first time? I can't get away from here myself. <sighs> oh boy. Okay. Okay, pal. whatever. I we'll guess that's it. the where the end of the dungeon conveniently is anyway, so and even if we do find this beach where the Shigura are, how are we gonna find the medicine? It might help if we could talk to the other Shigura. Maybe we can. I got an idea. Huh? You got an idea? What's your idea? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Luna Lab. Yep. Did a voice clip just glitch out there or something? Let us talk to the sea dragons. I bet you're right. So I'm ready for someone because you like crown, so I can have more HP. <laughs> Pip's reign never really ends. Duh. 
Magic of plot convenience. All right, now, now we can move Donnie back to the blue house and restore Luna Lab number two, because that's where we get the item that lets us talk to Shigura. Because I feel like you're not supposed to see a cutscene about us asking them to get a device to talk to Shigura unless we have already seen this cutscene that we just did with Pow, you know? Let's kill Pimtina! Blake Blade Master just killed Pimtina! Thank you very much, dude! I appreciate you killing Pimtina and becoming the new bo the new stream boss! Learn to share, Pip! Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Welcome to the boss chair. Uh, I really do appreciate the bits very much. Uh, have Donnie and boom. Future. What? I can't afford that! No, I thought someone fell for my bluff as I can't afford bits right now! <laughs> you were lying! <laughs> nice try, Pip. It didn't work. Alright, but anyway. Uh... But I think we've actually restored, um... I think that's all we need to restore for storyline. Although, they knew you do need the main lab restored to build the actual time travel device thing. Yeah, the blue lab. Looks like there's another lab now. Another lab, implying a second one. Maybe meaning if I had both. seen that cutscene first, that would have been weird. Mega lol. Let's see how long my reign lasts. Uh, you've got a lot of HP there. I th I think it'll last longer than uh, you might think. Unless we get two subscriptions. Because the subscription is worth 500 bits, so... Uh... If someone subscribes and the second person subscribes, then that that's it there, but... It's called calling your bluff, SGX. Or out bluff your bluff. Yeah, it's called calling bluff. People have something for it by Friday, I guarantee it. <laughs> and behold, Donnie's descendant. Hey there, I'm Dr. Knob. Dr. Knob. I'm the head researcher here. But you're a... I know what you're thinking. What's a kid doing in a place like this, right? Yeah, how come? Oh, you can get watch bits by watching ads. I have a lot of time on my hands, so you can wa you walk and watch yourself. The more brains you have, the higher your position. It's only natural. So that means you're the smartest person here, then? I guess you could say that. Well, I guess I'll be going now. As I'm planning on playing Dark Cloud 2, I don't want to get spoiled. Oh, well, that sounds very good. Are you, you are in for a good time, in my opinion, so have fun with that. Thank you for coming, and thank you again for the bits. I appreciate it. By the way, inferior to Southern Jimmy Neutron. Boo, he's not Southern or Jimmy Neutron! <laughs> I know, I know. He, I feel like he's supposed to be like. Possibly a descendant of both Claire and Donnie because of the blonde hair? I don't know. the computer run an analysis. I even know what you're searching for. What? Really? A device to talk to sea dragons, right? Huh? Don't you want to go 10,000 years in the past? Oh yeah, we, we that is why we were here, isn't it? Yeah, the device has oh, traveled ten thousand years back. Yeah, yeah, that too. But first, we need a machine to let us talk to those sea dragons. I already got ahead of Aquaman. <laughs> it's still on PS now at the moment. Device. It's no problem. All right, awesome. We already so how can he see with his hair completely covering his eyes? There's one <laughs> Donnie's like that too. No one question it with him. <laughs> yes, Shigura are very important creatures to us here at the lab. Once a year, they come from the South Island to the shore here. When they do, they bring a stone called the Luna Stone with them. I know, we've been using them as the keys. They go move on to the dungeon. The mysterious ability to rapidly increase human brain power. So it's Thanks like a drug. Stone, this lab is home to the world's best thinkers. Okay. <laughs> Here's a device so to see we what we search for. Facebook too. flashbacks help. <laughs> that's why we've already developed a Shigura translation device. So yeah, they already have one. Hey, you! Yes, sir. Hey, you! Random person! I'm not gonna give you a name. Shell talkie. Yes, sir. He's kind of a not a very nice kid. Thanks. Oh, I guess he said thanks. Here you go. Well, as a host to me. Ah, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. 
So we can talk to the sea dragons with this. Yes, oh, sorry. We have a talk to the sea dragons with this. Well, yes, we can. Sort of. You'll only be able to understand Shigoro with a comparatively high level of intelligence. Not Shigoro children, for example. I guess that means a chat with Shingala is out. Yeah. So Thanks, that, I guess that makes sense. We'll you can only talk to we'll Shigura that already know how to talk in their language. You can't talk to Shigura that can't already talk. You, that that makes sense, right? Person I was supposed to just stopped. Oh, cool. Well, I appreciate it nonetheless. Are host notifications supposed to show up on screen because they're not? One, I, I have it set for one. They only appear on screen if there's at least two or more viewers of the stream that's being ho that's hosting me. Because anybody, anytime, anywhere can host somebody. But they could have nobody in their stream. And it's like, okay, you hosted me. But if no one's watching, it didn't really do much. But I guess I appreciate it nonetheless. It does appear on screen if it's two or more, though. So it still appears in the chat, so I can still see it. But, yeah. Their leaders are the smartest ones, but they artificially increase their intelligence. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it's the actually increase intelligence. It just makes... It's, it's like a drug. <laughs> Temporarily increased brain power is how I interpret it personally. Alright, now we gotta go back to the dungeon. We gotta finish the rest of the dungeon. And then we'll have all the geostones required to complete the rest of the Luna Lab, which will allow us to build the 10,000 years in the past machine which we need to do. And then... Yeah. After that is all said and done, uh, we'll be doing that. Oh, wait, they actually... Oh. Never mind, I don't want to spoil anything. What about the mural? We're here right now. Boop, ancient mural. Yeah, we have to actually walk, we have to walk through this place. And yeah, this is the title screen of the game. For the, I don't really show the title screen when I start the stream, but this, this mural, this literal room, is the title screen of the game. So it must be something important. That also, the falling moon thing is also, you know, in the logo. So we don't know why, but we don't, we know it's important, but we don't know why. Ah, a white seal. Poopy. So we can't heal in this level. No healing items! This level is called Wandering Zappy. It introduces a, a just an enemy that's a clone of another enemy. We need to build the world's first Wayback Machine. Time travel magic and time machines. I wouldn't want to live there. Oh well, yeah, because for all you know, the, th the reality you know might just change because Griffin just changed it. Went back and changed history. Bye. Alright, so wait. I forgot. What weapons need more building up? Matt? Oh, Digihammer is 90. Question Shooter is 67. Sukikage is 93. Wow, so the gun is actually the weakest right now, but it's at plus 7. That's ridiculous. Okay. So I guess anything's fair. Any weapon doesn't matter. Everyone has really good weapons right now. I love this game, it makes me so much... I love this game, it makes so much sense. I'm really getting this. Well, I'm glad. I know you're being sarcastic, but... I don't know. Once you get past the... Uh, you said this is your first time to the stream, but... That's the story, guy. That That is the story. It's not that complicated when you say it simply. The plot is, this guy named Griffin... Uh, just destroyed a bunch of really important things things and people that basically allowed future the future to develop so thereby making very few things exist at all like just making the world in the future just a huge wasteland by selectively deleting things throughout history um, uh, and so we don't like that because that's bad so we're trying to stop him so we're slowly not only trying to find a way to go back to the time that he exists and kill him, but also restoring the things that he has destroyed. And that's, that's it. That's the story. Yay, a map! 
And this is one of the level with two exits, but we can only go out of one of them. We can't go to the other one yet. This is the third level so far where there's been a two ways to go, but one of them we can't go because there's some random thing blocking our way. I wonder if there'll be something later where we're gonna go through all these weird, weird places. Ow. That thing's a zappy. They're basically a lightning version of like the water element, the fire element, things like that. Okay, that sounds cool. I wish I wasn't busy those Monday nights. <laughs> Ah yes, the fishmen fish. Yes, those guys. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no! One at a time, please. One at a time, please. Thank you. Goodbye. A gigantic, gigantic floating virus. All the haunters. Yeah, they are kind of like haunters. Just a thing. Oh my goodness. We've already gotten enough attack to promote this thing? Dang. Uh, yeah, we are... Our weapons are way stronger than they're supposed to be. I kind of love it. I'm not sure how that happened. You are killing my minions! <laughs> Your viruses? Ha ha ha. Okay, so if she... If an Ami Medusa petrifies us... That's bad, because we're dead. Then again, there's a healing spot in this dungeon. We were lucky to have a healing spot spawn in the no healing items allowed floor. Oh my god. This... She is, like, cleaving these things. Look at this. Just two slices enough to kill these things. The only reason he was surviving is because he was floating around like an idiot, just not knowing what he's supposed to do. Boom. Slice, slice, dead! Basically. Oh, hello. Mimics might take more than two slices. Yeah, because they're, uh... They're weak to crushing damage, not slicing, so... Alright. Uh... Yeah, we doing good. We're like, like wrecking this place. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it is because our weapons are overpowered, but I swear they're not. I feel like I've had weapons at this at this point, at this level in previous playthroughs, and we weren't overleveled. Maybe I just know what I'm doing in this game. Because I guarantee I did not have weapons this good the first time I played. A sentient box is weaker to being. Cr Crushed and being cut. What a surprise. Well, <laughs> what is right? Well, yeah. It's a... Mimics actually have, like, armor. The treasure chest is their armor. Put it back to Max, because... Somehow the gun is my weakest thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, use the hand. Oh, I'm poisoned. That's okay, there's a healing spot on this floor. And even if it wasn't, I could just use Monica the rest of the level, but... Eh, why do that when we have a free healing spot? Yay! So, fun fact, in the first Dark Cloud game, the question mark on the map was not the healing spot. The healing spot was just this little, like, circle. Um, in Dark Cloud 1, a question mark was actually a door that leads to basically more dungeon like it's more dungeon of the current floor and it's usually harder so it's like I don't know I I, I never liked those it, it was just yeah there's more stuff to fight in Dark Cloud 1 I didn't really even like that much so maybe that's why I didn't like it all right, hello, Aqua Element. Pew, 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 dead. Yay, we beat that floor. White seal removed. Oh, we can play Sphita. All right. I'm totally Let's playing Sphita. You guys. What is stream gonna go on YouTube? I'm gonna say you want top ten games of Blue Gritty Gaming. This was on that list. Yes, this will be on Blue Gritty Gaming. I just finished uploading uh, Kingdom Hearts to Blue Gritty Gaming uh, just the other day, so this will start uploading soon. Soon. 
like, very soon. As soon as I edit the first stream. And by edit, I mean rewatch it to make sure there's no parts I gotta cut out. Or condense or something like that, just to make it more YouTube friendly. Oh, oh, it's behind a wall. I can't get it. It's glitched. Look at that. Isn't that terrible? It's super glitched, because I'm pretty sure it had three shots the first time I hit it. Now it has four. That's not... Yeah. Super glitched. Yeah. Well, that's what happens. I told you, this level, this dungeon is glitchy. Uh, I've mentioned that. So, unfortunately, yeah, that's, you, that, that sometimes happens with randomized stuff like this. Oh, well. The sad thing is I probably would have actually wit won that one. The Gulf of Time and Space. Wonder if Pelgy and Dialga play that game. <laughs> I bet they do. We've reloaded our laser gun with more bullets. <laughs> uh-huh. What's this? Banquet of the Dead. Oh, this is just... There's a lot of undead enemies, basically. I think Max's gun and Monica's sort of a lot of exorcism, so this shouldn't be too bad. Bugged distortion sphere mechanics. Yeah, but unfortunately there's no way to reset the sphere at all. I feel like that would solve a lot of the speed of glitches or speed of problems, just... Basically, click a reset button, and the sphere goes back to where it started, with the amount of shots that it had from the start. Sanmo, that's not an undead! That is not an undead! What the heck? That thing over there is an undead. And I don't know what that- I don't even know what that is. Oh, the pirate tank is back! What is the horn head? Yeah, that's an undead. Alright, and uh, a Sudi? I'm not sure what that Sudi is, but it's a stronger version of the Darkness, which was an enemy in the very first dungeon. These things always take so several hits to kill, but they're never difficult. Alright. Ride pod time. Yay! You could just say the laser gun needs new batteries. That's not correct. It needs new bullets. Oh, King Mimic! Look, I'm in the ride pod. Can I upgrade the quarry out of the ride pod? I want to upgrade the core one more time before something. Before something. Exercise the undead with lasers! <laughs> Darkness sounds more threatening than Sooty. I know, right? Is it stuck? No, it's not stuck. Goodbye. Heh, <laughs> level up for a hammer. Oh yeah, I forgot, a roller skating robot! Yep, roller skating robot with uh, barrel cannons that shoot water. Or, they're water barrel cannons. I don't think they shoot water, though. They shoot, like, little small cannonballs, I guess? I don't know. Wooden guns. Crush that tank with your hammer. Yep. Yeah, the, the, gun, the gun does have exorcism, so that's why that's doing a lot to these guys. Yay. We clear are that pirates have tanks. They do. I guess this is the most common enemy in this floor, the horn head. I feel like this is the only floor of the whole game that this type of enemy appears in. They're like super uncommon. That's not a bad thing, it's just a weird thing that I just somehow remember. Yay, repair powder! And that's the exit, well how do I get over there? It would really help if I had a map. It's probably in one of those chests. Well, it is in one of those chests, there's a map in every floor. I barely spelled anything in that sentence right. Uh, only two things. Oh, no, four things. Or three things? I don't know. 
Oh, it's really good against the Sudis. Really? That, that's, that's interesting. Yay, level up for the gun. Ah, never mind. I, I don't care what kind of trap that is because those charge shots are never anything good. Goodbye, Hornhead. Yeah, this the, the, the gun is taking so long to level up now. I think we're really close with getting its stats, though, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm thinking of a maybe I'm thinking of a different weapon, or maybe I was thinking of the hammer in the previous stream, but we already did it. No, we're actually not anywhere near close near there. Let me look at what 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 stats do we need? Max weapon chart. I should probably just have this bookmarked or something. It doesn't take that long to search for it, though. And that's the wrong one. What the heck? Why is that the first option? It changed what the first option is. Every time I've Googled before, it's been the Dark Cloud Wiki. Now it's Game Facts, and that's... I don't want to read that. Uh... It needs 86 lightning, 86 exorcism, 95 attack. We've got a long way to go, actually. We've got a long way to go. Uh, so, 86. Heat Fairy and Rifle Wolf? Yeah! Don't you remember the Hunter Fox from... Rival Butterfly Wood, the Rival Wolf is the stronger version of that. And the Heat Fairy is a stronger version of the Smiling Fairy from Balance Valley. Uh, hope it's literally just a werewolf with a sniper rifle. Wait, is it a sponsored result? Maybe, maybe I would, wouldn't be surprised if Game Facts was sponsored. Extra Beast Flame. One of them was Exorcism, right? Yeah. You can have the Emerald. Question shooter. That'll help that build up. And it's fortunately still one short, but still. Dark Cloud Wiki. Fandom powered by Wikia. Yeah. Okay. One more... One more Holy Crystal. And that'll be enough exorcism. And Lightning needs three more. And that'll be that, the end of that. Then we just need attack power from there. Which is not easy because I'm pretty sure power crystals you can't buy those an attack is yeah that just that goes up whenever you level up but um, yeah it doesn't level up it only goes up like two every every level point three I guess we'll give it these two, any that we have, and wait till we get more. You know what? After I finish this dungeon, I'm gonna put Milane back on the train. I'm gonna rec I'm gonna have Max's dad Gerald with us because he will give bonus points to the gun every time it every time it levels up. I think Monica's sword has enough bonuses right now. Like it's got 20 synthesis points. 20 synthesis points. Uh, I think it's doing all right. So we'll swap up my lane for Gerald after this level. What was the description for the gun? The question... The, the gun is called the Question Shooter. It interrogates the enemy. It questions them. I No, I don't know what that means. Don't, que don't question it. Don't question the Question Shooter. It's a freaking laser gun. It's powerful. We don't care about the specifics. Interrogates the enemy with what? Laser bullets? <laughs> yeah. You basically ask, what do you think of this? What do you think of this in her face? Pew, pew, pew. Oh, you didn't like that? Oh. Well, sorry. Think about wikis. People can edit pages and correct errors and add new updated information. Yes. Wikis are good. A gentle laser interrogation. The true brain power of the internet. Wait, tag, it said some celebrity, they were a professional velociraptor on, on Wikipedia. Well, Wikipedia is harder to moderate because there's just so many freaking pages on like anything, almost anything you can imagine. Pew, 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 
that's my question. Oh wait, you're dead. Oops. Basically. Pirate tank, bang. Uh-oh, uh-oh, never mind. I didn't mean to do that. Ow. I got shot right in the face of the tank! <laughs> Only 12 damage. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. Maybe I shouldn't have interrogated there with a laser gun. Oh, a regular gun would have been much better, yeah. That would only have killed them slightly less. That wouldn't have killed them as hard, I guess. I don't know. Hey, quick, why did you die? Tell me now, or I'll kill you again. You didn't tell me fast enough. There's thousands of admins of Wikipedia to the mass massive scale of it. Thousands. Well, there has to be. Yeah. As long as you don't edit a, a big, large thing, you can probably get away with messing with an article or two. Yeah, people do it all the time for fun. And while I must envy your spare time, the amount you must have to be spending and doing that. Goodbye, King Mimic. And I think there is a molar over here. Uh, you can't... Oh my, there's a million molars. Uh, we'll use Monica for these. Because she can kill them in two slices. I really wanted to mess with them, but I have no idea how to do any of that. Yeah, I... I Ow. A molar jumping at you does more damage than being shot in the face with a bullet from a tank. It seems obviously vandalized. There was a page history. So undo the Vandal Act and the page, yeah. Who to you? Video games! <laughs> yeah, heck yeah, video games. Looks like we got them all. Yes, I want to play Sphita. Oh my god, look how far that is. Uh, do we have a key? Or did we use our keys already? I know we bought keys from Donnie at one point. I think we used them all. Force it. It was a poison. Okay, I don't care. A frickin' absorption coin. Heck yeah! Oh my god. You have absorption ar- Did- I thought everyone- Everything already has absorption! Oh no, the Digihammer does not have absorption! You're getting the absorption, Digihammer, right now! Immediately! Like, right this very second, you were getting absorption. Da-da-da! Absorb the souls of your enemies! Yep, yeah, it, it absorbs HP, like... Like... Leech Seed. But it's, it's more, it works more like Giga Drain. But... And now Annika's gonna die from poison. Is she? Is she gonna die from poison? No? Can you not die from poison? Or does poison no longer affect you when all the enemies are gone? I don't know which it is. It doesn't matter, though. There's only Max to place Vita, for some reason. Digimon hammer! Only four hits? Dude! Look how far- Okay, there's no way I'm gonna get this. There's no way I'm gonna get this one. Okay, let's give it- let's give it a try, though. Only four hits for this. Dude, it needs one, two, three, four, like six hits. Unless I get really lucky with how this- this bounces. Let's just hit it really hard. Oh, that was bad. That was very bad. Well, we're really not going to make it now. Okay. So if I do this... Uh, if I... Uh, if I... If, mm, if I just start over. Let's just head to this wall. That's the worst that'll happen. We're making progress! And if I had more shots, these are actually pretty good. There's literally no chance of me getting it. No chance at all. What even happened there? I'm not even going to hit the last one. I feel like that was glitched. It looked like it hit something, but there was nothing there. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I wasn't going to I wasn't going to make it anyway. Is there another fishing tournament? There's another fishing contest, guys. 
Should we enter the fishing contest? I think we should enter the fishing, fishing contest. Let's enter the fishing contest. We are going to enter the fishing contest. We have 15 hours to go. That's like 15 minutes in game, I believe, if not less. Uh, so let's hurry. Where's the Luna Stone? Time doesn't go by when you're in your, me your menu, though, so it's okay. Agree with the symbol for assimilation. We are Borg. All right, let's go catch a fish and recruit Gerald. Yes? Okay. Yes, I will. Okay, good night. All right, let's go fishing. 14 hours to go. Crap, we're wasting time. I gotta catch a fish really fast. Uh, let us use fishing pole. We're gonna use a petite fish. That usually catches really big fish. I'm gonna just catch, I'm gonna just wade in the water like this. Probably, guys, probably the main part of a good quote. Someone mildly important. No greater quote than that. All right. We're gonna we're gonna kick the heck out of this fishing contest, and by that I mean we're probably not gonna win at all. And even if we do win something, it's gonna suck. The, pri the prize is gonna suck. Never mind. This is not a big fish at all. This is like a teeny tiny itty bitty wimpy fish. Never thought you'd do that on me. What? I caught a bun. It's a little, little pufferfish without without spines. That's what it looks like. This weird little thing. It may look like he's half smiling, but he really isn't. <laughs> okay, that's a description, I guess. Let's catch one more, and we'll enter the one, the better of the two. That's how fishing tournaments right work, right? I actually have no idea how the fishing contests work. I feel like I've only entered them like once or twice in all of my years of playing this game. Fish racing is the one I actually did a lot more. That, that happens later in the game, fish racing. Is that when you actually catch a fish and you have to breed it to have racing stats and then give it different bait to increase its stats? It, it's really, it's really uh, like, competitive fish racing is a big deal. How much time does the fishing contest have left? Reel, reel it back in. I think we're I think we're a lost cause. How much more time does they have? Twelve hours. Okay, we have time. We have time to catch one more fish. Assuming it bites soon. I'm getting too tired to make much sense. That's alright. I think I have time to eat some water while I'm waiting for the fish to catch. Oh, this is a little this fish is a little bigger. It's not that it's not it's not that big, but it's this is like a medium-sized fish. More like medium small. Like it's it's a, it's between the it, I fail. Somehow I feel like it it goes faster sometimes. The bar go, whatever. We'll try again. I need to I need to be more careful. I mean I'm kind of being a little too greedy with my reel ins. I've been up for like 17 or so hours now. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, I got up at 4.45 this morning. It's now 9, 10 p.m. for me. So how long is that? 15 hours about? Just about. So, I mean, that's not, that's not weird to me personally. So, when I used to fix my sleep schedule and stayed up for 24 hours, I made no sense to talk for, talk like a mile a minute. Ah. I'm not sure if a mile is a accurate <laughs> measurement of uh, how much words you speak. Okay, I think we're lost. We're gonna enter the bond. We're gonna enter the bond fish that we caught. I'm kind of just sick of waiting. All right, we're gonna move to Palm Brinks. I actually don't know how this works at all. 
Watch it be like you have to enter three different fish. If that's the case, then whatever. I'll keep. I'll save the bond for another time, and I'll catch different fish other times. Just I'll just catch other friend of fish as we play the game. Yeah, fishing contest time. How does it work? I don't know how it works. Is that under the fishing contest grounds? Skill. An owl? It's a recolor of Argo. Fishing contest, did you bring a fish? Yes. Weigh my fish. Which fish will you weigh? The only one I caught. The Bon. It's a teeny tiny fish. Like a widow itty bitty widow fish. Look at that. That. Wow. Well, not bad at all, but you can't relax yet. You can weigh in nine more fish. You have to enter ten fish. You bring a fish. Uh, no. I only brought the one. Could I just... Did I, did I lose my fish? He took, he took my fish. He took my fish. How do I just say that's what I'm entering? I, I don't have to weigh 10 fish, right? I could just say I just want to enter the one. If only you had the fish hammer. Oh, hi, the frozen, yeah, they pick a fish. Look at the wait list, one bond, yeah. If you weigh three or more, you get to... Oh, you have to weigh at least three. Oh. Okay, well, bye. Can I get my fish back if I leave? It's okay if I don't. It was a really crappy fish. No, I didn't get my fish back. That's all right. Okay. Now we know. You have to enter at least three, maximum of ten. And now that we know, that will be an issue in the future. So we're going to totally enter at some point, just as try. You never know what will happen. I'll just probably catch ten random fish. Because, uh, you know, there are you can get medals in dungeons. It, it, that's a thing. You know, we've got medals in a lot of dungeons. Not a lot, but some. A lo any dungeon that has a place you can fish, if you catch a fish above a certain weight on that floor, you get uh, you get a um, you get a medal. So yeah, I might just do try to attempt to get a couple medals, and I'll just keep all the fish I get during that. And yeah, red seal, so no max, so just Monica, just Monica. If I'm not mistaken, this level is a lot of pirate tanks. So, yeah, this is one of those where they're like, they knew exactly what they were doing. What the biggest fish is, Gungan? The biggest fish is called, uh, Marden Garion, I believe. It's the same species of fish that the Holy One was. Remember him? Oh, wait! Oh! Oh, yeah! Never mind! It was not the pirate ta- Oh, my god. A literal ride pod enemy in a Monica-only area. You would do that to me, game. You would do that to me. All right, let's throw a rock at it. Uh, never mind. We dropped the rock. Oh, but there was something in it! It is a ride pot fuel. That's so helpful right now. Let's kill the things that we can't actually kill right now. Just so they're out of our way. We can kill that. Oh, what's shooting fire at me? A rag stink? Oh, that's a stronger version of the Night Stalker from the first level. Remember that thing? Maybe, maybe not. You took the reference from us, you monster. All right, well, yeah, Neo Vanguard. 
Yeah, never mind. The level I'm thinking of is called Pirate's Revenge. That's the one with a bunch of pirate tanks. Oh, and sea tortoises! Oh my god, I forgot about this level. Guys, I'm pretty sure this is one of the worst of the whole game. Oh, never mind. Monica's sword is really freaking strong, and I, I actually just remembered I didn't get Gerald, like I said I was gonna get. But that's okay, because, um, I can't even use Max in this level anyway. It's good that I'm getting sword points from Milane. Stinky Rags equals Ghost. Or oh, Stinky Rags plus Ghost equals those, yep. Okay, more Flame Crystal. Alright. That's the Neo Vanguard. I don't want to fight you yet. You probably have the key, because that's what this game would do. They'd give you the key, so you can't try to skip out on fighting one of those things. At least one. Maybe we should just try our luck. See what happens. What's the worst that will happen? That's how much we do with our sword. That is crap. I, I, it's not impossible. We are going to burn through so many repair powders. I need a rock! Here's a rock. A, B. What's the stream for Wednesday? Platinum. Platinum duo type. Water fighting. 38 damage. That wasn't even that much. And that's all I got was one combo on it. Do we have, like, bombs? I think those are all equipped on max right now. <laughs> of course they are. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we're going to just burn through a bunch of repair powders. That's all I can do. And, of course, his attacks go through your block. Every time. Infernape. Probably Infernape, because I don't won't get a fire type otherwise. Uh, and the... I don't know. Elemental bombs? The, I, I don't know which element bomb to use, though. And they probably would do alright. But, eh. Well, if we have to fight more, and I get sick of what I just did there, maybe... Is an easy choice, but I don't know. I see Infernape. You're here just to annoy Pip. Does Pip not like Infernape? Oh, Pip, because Pip wants me to pull it. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm picking to base what what would. I'm you. Uh, what's more likely to make me win? So let's try a chill stone. What's the worst that'll happen? Chill. 100 damage. Okay. How? Uh, oh, I don't. No. Uh, all right, let's try a flame stone next. 159. The wind one is 100. I bet it's, I guess it's weak to fire. How about a flame stone? Boom. But I only had two flame stones. That was it. I only had two flame stones. That's all of them. So uh, done with those, I guess. That's why I don't like these. But whatever, I'll have them equipped anyway, just in case. Did I get the Luna stone piece? Oh wait, I got the Luna Stone, so technically I could exit the level any time. I just, you know, I like to kill every enemy because... Get rid of the seal and play Sfida. Here it is. Anything to annoy Pip. He has to make an exception to get Crobat to annoy Pip. Yes! So my, the Nuzlocke is water fighting plus Crobat. I'm back from taking out, like, six dogs. Ah, that sounds fun. You missed us attempt and fail the fishing contest. Oh, lightning does 210. But I only have a few of those, so let's throw more chill. Dude, you need to just chill. Ow. Hold on, heal, 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 heal. Boom. 
case you couldn't tell, this is the busy months. Summertime's the busy months? Yeah, yeah, because probably a lot of people are like, Oh, it's summer, let's go somewhere. Do important, do fun things outside, whatever the heck that means. And then they leave their dogs with people to watch them. Dr. Free's voice, chill. I don't know what his voice sounds like, so I don't know how to try to imitate it. Aya! Die, die, slice! Thunder element. Not sure if you saw a tweet sent to you, but if it's white duo type, you should dark flying electric poison if you want to start a grass fighting. Oh yeah, I did see that. Um, for the white, t I said I've already said. For, oh, for the next white one, you're right. Yeah, the next white one. What I'm thinking of doing is dark poison. Poison because I was gonna do the dragon poison one, but I never actually got anywhere with that nuzlocke. So. I don't want to do dragon again, because there's like nothing in the game that's dragon, so... And so poison I want, and dark, just so I have something early on in the game, with purloin. Um... So yeah, dark poison, the assassin run? We can make that part of the backstory if you'd like. Um... Yeah, that, that sounds fun, I guess. The only fun outside is going to to other inside places, like caves, or literally any human construction. I wouldn't say any human construction, but yes, I know what you mean. Dark poison would be good. Oh yeah, I like dark, I like the idea of dark poison for the next white duo type, but I've already said for the next white two, uh, after that, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be grass bug. There are three of these things, unless there's more in that room. There's not. Goodbye! I won! Dark also gets Bisharp Hydreigon. Yes, correct. Oh, that's a straight shot! Oh, this will be an easy speed around. Unless it only gives me one shot. If it only gives me one shot, then I'm not gonna make it because it's the opposite color. I gotta bounce it off something. Crocodile, yep, exactly. There's a lot of good dark types in Unova. So. And namely, Scrafty Crocodile. Uh. Yeah. And the things you said. Uh, alright. Where is my Sphita Club? Here it is. Alright, oh, we get three shots. Nice. Okay. Well, let's just hit as hard as we can. Whee! Boop. Be red. Red! Perfect. Perfect. Gotcha. Gotcha. Pew! A grass bug, do you want to lose? No, I, I, I plan to win. I don't know what you're talking about. I've wanted to do Grass Bug for in games for a while now. I tried twice to do it in white, but I never got past. I only had Snivy. Ooh, five treasure chest keys! That's a really good prize. I mean, I could just buy those, but they cost a lot of money, so that's really good. But unlike white, white 2, you actually get sea waddle early on, so I won't be stuck with Snivy for like two badges, like I was in white. That was the problem with that duo type in that game. Not just one key, five! Well, one key would have been a really lame, r lame prize. Um... Can't confirm that you can get both Snivy and Seawell before the first gym. Yep. Alright, I think the last three levels are back to having Beach in them. Or is it only the last two? Because you remember there was that levels that had both a Beach and an Underground? Now we've, been, now we've been in a lot of levels that are just Underground. 
And now I think there's gonna be beach levels again. Return of the Serpent. Yeah. So, upgraded version of that. Oh! Finny Friend, what here's the fish racing! Contest? The Finny Frenzy. Finny Frenzy? That's right. Contestants race their fish of choice to see which one is the fastest. Competitive fish racing. Great idea, Mayor. You outdid yourself this year. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Oh, and Sunkern? Oh, I get three before the first gym. That'd be really helpful, actually. Because uh, Charon is not easy in that game. Especially in Nuzlocke's, because you get so few Pokemon before fighting him. And they're usually not that good. Luckily, in my white 2 duo type, uh, I had Pint, who just owned everything. I still didn't get Gerald! Dang it! If he's sunk, or what's the point of doing a Nuzlocke? He just wins. <laughs> if you want to think that, that's fine. Wow, a Sunker, and Amy's run is saved. <laughs> oh, come on, it can't be that bad. I guess we'll see. Antidote drink. Wind crystal. Sooty. Wait, kill it with a gun. I saw you trying to dodge out of the way. You failed. Yay, sugar cane. Goyon, pew, pew. Now you are Goyon. <laughs> okay. I'd be very surprised if Sunker does anything notable except being a death fighter. Yeah, I would be surprised too. But hey. Sometimes Pokemon that are really sucky do really good. And there is indeed a beach area. I can see it. Oh, it was, it was up that way. Of course it was. Okay. So I'm going to 30s across the board for base stats. Yep. Yeah, I know it's really bad stat-wise. Venipede after the first gym? Yes. Well, I would have, that means I will have Venipede for both of, of the duo-type Nuzlocke's then. Assuming I win white with the Dark Poison. That's a big assumption, though. There's a big gap between being sucky and being sunker. Oh, wow. <laughs> has a beach, so it has fishing. We're gonna try to catch a fish on this beach. We will see what happens with that. Probably not gonna catch anything good. Next is ever there, Dwebble and Maractus. All the way in Desert Resort. Better hope no one buys eyes before then. Eh, I think we'll be fine. By that I mean I think we're probably gonna lose, but I don't really care. If I wanted to play Nuzlocke and just win every time, I'd allow healing items. Or I'd, you know, other things to make the game not that challenging anymore. I'm all for using women because they're bad, that all of them can be fun, but Sunker does not fit into that belief. Yeah, I know what you mean. And I'm gonna have to backtrack a lot in this floor, just based on how it's laid out, I can, I can already tell that. Here's the exit. I still have the whole upper beach level to do. And I don't care what that trap is, I don't want it. Boys love Dwebble for some reason. Yeah, I like Dwebble a lot too. 
Heck, I had Golma in my very first Nuzlocke. But of course, the only reason she won is because I abused the heck out of Sturdy and healing items. If I've ever gone to any rand about Sunker, eh, I would get it out of rand. More than just a lot of statements about how sucky he is, which I can't necessarily disagree with. Lost Lord Forest is crazy. It is, what is it like a lot of Pokemon I can get there or something? Oh, a sea serpent. Hello. Ah! Ah! Heal! I need cheese! Goodbye. Okay, we got gotcha. you. Combi, Paddlel, Pinzer. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. Also, for Combi, should we disallow males and just say males don't count when we're trying to find Combi? That, because I, I, I want to I wanna say that, because males are unusable. Yes. And it'll just take a lot longer to find. Pinsir is the blast. I forgot what part of the game that is. Just say, like, between. Lost Lorne is right... By Nimbasa, which is Lisa's gym. Lisa's gym, gym city. I found fish in a box. How long have they been in here? Huh? Apparently they're they're good enough to use as bait. What's down this little tiny cave here? Is there anything in here? There is actually something here. It's a mimic. Wow. That, that's kind of funny how that generated like that. Well, that's what happens with these randomized dungeons. You really weird stuff like that. Male combis only and evolved with the secret Pokemon, Vespi King. Ah, uh, yeah. <sighs> I'm really tired suddenly. Slicey, 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 slice. You just ruined someone's sir strumming? I'm not sure what that even is. Deerling, Carablast, Fungus, and Shellman. Ooh, nice! Those are all really good ones. So, in other words, I just have to get past that point. Basically, there's going to be a good while where I'm not going to have a whole lot of options. So, during that time, I have to make sure very few people die, if any, so that I can actually get a bunch of options later on. That's what I'm getting from this. But, of course, that's several Nuzlocke's from now. Because knowing my luck, I won't even win the next white attempt. Uh, what did I miss? I must have missed an enemy somewhere. And I also don't have the magic crystal. So I can't see where the enemies are. What the heck? How did I miss an enemy? Oh, there's a little long pathway up there. That little tiny skinny... I didn't even see that. Okay. Uh, what? What happened? Ferris and Joel take a charge stone. Yep. I'm excited for both of those. Yeah, White 2, the selection of Pokemon is way bigger. Um, that's why I'm not as worried about that game. White is, is, is pretty challenging. It's been really challenging. Because, you know, I have, I have not been successful yet. I came pretty close last time. I got to the Elite Four. I only beat two of them, though. Looks like A death, at least off. one death from each of them. And the third one finished me off. Okay, that was the last one. And the last treasure is probably the magic crystal. Are you into all Marvel stuff? I think you said you like the movies. I, I I mean I like them. They're okay. I'm not I wouldn't call myself a big Marvel fan though. Cause I kinda got sick of them after a while, because like I never saw Civil War. I never saw there were, I'm pretty sure there were more Thor movies I ever saw. I only saw the first Thor. Um, I never saw Ant-Man. I never saw the most recent Spider-Man. 
I never saw Infinity War or, or anything like that. Um, but the uh, of the ones that I have seen, I, I like. There's a, there's a few I didn't like at all. Uh, the one that comes to mind is Iron Man 2. I did not like that movie. Uh, I don't know. I honestly forget which one is my favorite. Black 2 and White 2 are some of my favorites. Right along with Black and White. I agree. Tangle on Route 13. It's kind of random, but okay. Thor 2 is bad to math. Thor Rhino is great. Top 10 Marvel movies. Okay. Oh, you know what I also didn't like? I didn't like Avengers 2. At all. I thought that was not a very good movie. And I know saying that, you, you are more than free to disagree with me. I'm not going to try to tell anyone otherwise. Or say, you're wrong for liking it. Never, I will never say that. I personally did not care for it. I did not understand the hype behind it. Uh, I thought it was a huge waste of waste of time. Iron Man 2, 3, Incredible Hulk, and Thor and Dark World are very skippable of movies. Avengers 2 wasn't great, but isn't bad. Okay. I thought Iron Man 3 was okay. Hulk, I don't think I ever saw. And I don't think I saw Thor Dark World either. Age of Ultron is very forgettable. Exactly. It's like, the Avengers ones, those are the ones that they hype up the most. Because, you know, it's about all of them. And yeah, the second one I thought was the giant waste of time. Why am I going this way? Gerald! That's why I was going this way. Where are you, Gerald? Only thing Avengers 2 did was introduce Vision. And they didn't even say his name in the movie. I had no freaking clue who this guy is. He just he was like a manifestation of the Infinity Stone. I was like, okay. Unless I missed it. I swear, I actually, I pay attention to this stuff. They, I swear, they do not say his name in that movie. They just, like, everyone suddenly knows who he is when he appears. I don't know who the heck he is. Alright, Gerald, welcome to the party. Yep, he gives you bonus when I'm upgrading guns and will sell me guns. Alright, Dad, sell me guns. Oh, wait. Hold on. Next is that expert marksman. Okay. Scarlet Witch? I'm not even sure what that is. Oh! Oh, that's that one lady that does that stuff. I know who you mean. The fact that Ultron decided why would he made it after five minutes of the internet was my favorite thing about the movie. I thought that was stupid. I thought the whole I, I thought Ultron existing was stupid. I thought the, the whole movie was a waste of time. That that's the bottom line. I, I'm not gonna talk about it further. That's all. Most of the movie was trash though. Okay. Hawkeye got a shield, just like Captain America, although his was made of Quicksilver. How do you use a shield when you use a bow? H how do you do that? Unless you're like this, and you quickly shield like with your elbow or something, and then... Whoosh, I don't know. Looks like that's it for the encounter before the Elite Four. Oh, okay. So Tangle is my last encounter, is what you're saying? Okay. Alright, I think we have time for one more floor. We're almost done with this dungeon, so we're definitely going to fight the boss next stream. Oh wait, do you think we can do both these? And then just, that's how we kind of, that's how we ended Balance Valley, wasn't it? We, we ended the stream at the boss, and the next stream we fought him right away. I think we're going to do this time again. Unless we only beat this one, which is fine, I don't mind, um... I'm okay with doing, uh, both. It was a joke about the death of the speedy dude Quicksilver. Okay. Oh, hey, I found the beach right away. Cool. I didn't go fishing! I'm mad at myself. Okay, it's fine. Master Jacket. Fun fact, Master Jacket is a boss in the first Dark Cloud. Now he's just a random- now he got demoted to a random enemy. Use 
that's regrettable. He died taking a bullet for Hawkeye. Okay. Is he the same Quicksilver in X-Men? I know they're both Marvel, but I didn't know if those universes crossed over at all. I'm sure they all technically in the same universe because Marvel but that, but... But I, I, because I don't know. I like the one in X-Men. They're based on the same comics character. But are they the same character in the current mythos? Mythos, is that the right word? That's, I don't know if that's the right word. Demotion was rough to him, yeah. <laughs> They're the same, but X-Men did it way better. Yeah, he... Uh, I. I'm a huge fan of X-Men, by the way. You, I, I, you know what? You, I, I, you asked me if you're Mar about Marvel stuff? I forgot. I like the X-Men movies quite a lot. Um, those are, that's my favorite Marvel series. Um, and now that we actually have the ride, but we actually, actually fight these things as they were designed. From far away! <laughs> MCU doesn't have rights to the X-Men yet. Yeah, I know. They're owned by Fox, I think? Yeah, stuff are Fox, yeah. Avengers and stuff are Disney, that's correct. Oh, we just happen to have five keys now! So yes, we can open this charter chest, thanks for asking. What is it? It is a weaker gun that I have now. Yay! This is called the magic gun. This is the gun the bell trigger would have evolved into someday. You know, that bell, this gun right here that we have right now, that would have turned into that eventually. But yeah. He's Alice. You say X-Men is better? Have you seen The Last Stand? Um, I don't mean that one. I mean the more recent ones. Like, uh, X-Men First Class is great. Um, the one about time travel? <laughs> I... Day, days, days of Future Past, is that what that one's called? Apocalypse is really good. Yeah, those ones. The more recent ones. The older ones were not that great. Overall, 19 total Pokemon for Capture and White 2. Nice! It's way more than I've been getting lately. It's a gun, but it's magic. somehow bring that X-Men continuity into the MCU if Disney gets Fox. You think Disney will buy out Fox? I think that that's going to be hard. I don't think that's ever going to happen, unfortunately. But that's alright. I'm kind of okay with them being separate, gotta be honest. another one? Was there another X-Men since Apocalypse, or is that the most recent one? Because if there was another... Oh, Logan! I never saw that. I meant to see the, I meant to see that movie, but I never did. I, I, I heard good things about it. Was there another one other than that? I could have sworn there... Maybe, maybe there was. Maybe there wasn't. I don't remember. Disney will buy out everything! Hello. Uh, let, hold on, I want to kill you with a gun, not a sword. Hold on. Just hold that thought. Pew, pew, pew. Pew. The Justice Department just approved Disney's buying a fox. Deadpool movies are amazing. Deadpool? Okay. I never saw it. I, I never saw it the Deadpool movies. Uh, they don't seem like my kind of movie. Running at me. Oh, Master Jacket, hello. Come on, gun level up so Max's dad's powers can actually do something. Because it only helps when the gun levels up. Just having it in the in the party doesn't do anything other than 
That's not what I clicked. It's not what I clicked. I just pushed the control stick too hard when I was running away. They're fun but not family friendly in the slightest. Yes, I know. But I feel like that the that type of humor is the appeal to those movies. Could be wrong. But I don't I'm not a huge fan of that kind of thing, so that's why I don't think they're my kind of movies. Disney will eventually buy Earth and every other part of the solar system, including every individual asteroid on the asteroid belt. <laughs> Who are they going to buy it from, though? Did you know I'm pretty sure there's a law that forbids anyone from owning land in space? Because I, there was a point where someone decided to claim they, that they owned a piece of land on the moon. And then when NASA landed a spaceship there, they sent NASA a parking ticket. And they were like, no, no, you don't own that. No, let's make a law saying you can't do that. that I'm dead serious. That's a true story. Unless the person who told me made it up. <laughs> Pretty sure they didn't. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I know, isn't it? Mars will be owned by Elon Musk, consumer of worlds. <laughs> okay. I hope that's true. Fairly certain it is. Wow, there's a lot of rhyme happening to me today. Mostly pirate tanks and vanguard, but that's okay. I guess those are the ride enemies of this level, of this world. So that makes sense. Dungeon, level, whatever you want to call it. I wonder how Mars homesteading will work once we get there. Once we get there? I mean, you're assuming we will someday? Well, it's going to take some terraforming, I think. Atmosphere generators. And it's also much colder there. It's not so cold that humans can't survive, but it's at least most of the time, I think. And we're running out of bullets. And we have a pirate tank and a vanguard still to fight, so I'm going to use repair powder on the, on the right one. I hate doing that because it only repairs half of it. Because apparently they decided to ride pod stuff should be harder to repair. Measure Donald and Goofy next to Iron Man. Oh, a Marvel level in Kingdom Hearts 3? Oh, that'd be great. Some people would probably think that's terrible. I think that'd be great. I also think a Star Wars level would be great. Just because, just for, the, just for sure concept alone. What would the Keyblade from the world even look like? What is so much to base it off of? I can think of a million things. And there is not really one thing that can encompass the entire universe. Uh, oh, Infinity Gauntlet. There you go. Um, Star Wars could be a, a, just a lights, a, a, a keyblade shaped like a lightsaber, or no? Like the whole key, like it's the key, like it's a lightsaber but shaped like a keyblade. You know, right? You know, that makes sense, right? That makes sense. I think Mars' actual colonization is about 200 years away. Maybe some more, but getting there will have by. 2030, especially with Trump's Space Force. Trump's Space Force. Okay. No, if, if, it, if it happens, then that, that's great. But. Whoa, okay. I was afraid the game was just locked up there. But no, it didn't. Alright, let's start fishing in this random dungeon. The lightsaber keyblade needs to to key the lightsaber sound effects to go with it. Oh yeah, uh, every keyblade does have different sound effects, or most have different sound effects, so that's totally possible. Wants to make a space force for some reason. Well, who doesn't want to make a space force? Let's be honest now. I'd make a space force if I was president, or I'd try to. Okay, this is a big fish. I gotta be really careful. 
Maybe it's not a massive fish, but it's it's bigger than ones I've gotten so far. But look how f fast that skyrocketed. Something's biting! <laughs> Object to a space force, that they'd be awesome. Ooh, now that's a bond. Remember that? Remember the little, the first bond we cut? It was like a little teeny, like I don't know, a baseball. That's like a basketball. <laughs> you cleared the fish goal. I got a medal. Yeah, that's one fish down for our fishing contest entries. We need to catch ten fish to enter the fishing contest. So nice, we got a medal for catching that big fish. Beach ball bond! Or beach ball, yeah, that's a bigger that's big, it's a bigger than a basketball. I wanna make dinner with that. Bond is fat. Fat bond. <laughs> He's trying his best. My name is Bond. James Bond. <laughs> Sorry. I think that's the good note to end the stream. Uh where is the Luna Stone? I, I just passed it. When does the stream end again? Like, now, nah, it'll end right right now. It's falling asleep. It usually ends at 10 my time, which is in 8 minutes. But I usually end a few minutes early if I can't finish the next thing we're gonna do anyway. Or I do something real quick. Either, clearly we're gonna fight the boss, and we're gonna do the final floor and the boss on the, in the next stream, which is next Monday.